alcohol is a coping strategy, a very poor one, mm. uh, that people use to get social confidence, for example, or remove anxiety or even depression. And generally, it, it won't work out. It will end up being a problem within itself. But alcohol disorders are then in, in approximately one in eight people will change the brain in the way it functions, and they then get these cravings and addiction. Uh, whereas a lot of people, it's more a behavioural addiction. So it's a case of getting new behaviour, work out what's causing the problem, and we sort it, and they can stop and drink alcohol socially. But we have to accept that genetically, uh, some people, I'm going to my medical role here, <laughs> I, I worked with the alcohol services for some years, uh, and patients who are addicted mean they actually have a different brain system. So we know that their brain will cause craving uh, and they will respond to certain medications that behaviourally drinking people won't. So again, it's learning which group you're in and they, have to, they must abstain because we know that if they drink small amounts of alcohol, it sets the system off again. So yeah. we, we get this repeat behaviour and we have to say, you know, unluckily it's a bit, no different to someone who can't drink milk. If they've got lactose intolerance, the answer is you can't drink milk. Um, and if they've got an addictive genetic loading towards alcohol, then they mustn't drink. We're saying this is just a one-way street to disaster.